In this video, I'm going to show you my do-it-yourself pond vacuum in action. It's a follow-up to my previous two videos. I have not changed anything about this vacuum since I used it the last time and since I recorded the last video that explained the changes that I've made. However, I do want to correct myself uh, and make one simple correction in my speak from my first and I believe also on the second video. I said that the lift pipe or that the um, vacuum pipe was three inches and that this is a four inch fitting and I am uh, stand corrected. This pipe is a two inch uh, pipe and this is a three inch fitting running into a downspout drain. So other than that, uh, everything else I said is correct. Uh, I have it set up exactly like I set it up the last time when I ran my test. Um, uh, when I uh, was able to run the test and see how, how many gallons per minute that it would pump. And um, However, I'm not going to do that because I don't have enough hands to be able to run this pump and uh, time it as well. So. I'm going to go up here and set the camera down, and I have not turned it on today. Oh, and one more thing, the air compressor that I'm using is this air compressor right here. It's a 2.5 horsepower, 10 gallon, 125 PSI, Centro Pneumatic. It was from, um, uh, it's my neighbor's air compressor actually, but uh, it was from Northern Tool, I believe. So I'm going to clip my camera up here on the rail, and... show this to you in action. I haven't glued any of this together uh, as of yet. I would like to and, and I probably will, but I, I want to make sure that I don't want to, that I'm not going to do any other changes right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is run this with, with this attached to it, and then we'll cut the video, and I'll come back, and I will, I'll take this off and, and attach the uh, filter media right here and let it fall back into the pond. But first of all, we're going to run it out to the end. I've just cracked this open. Opened it up almost wide up, wide open.
Never mind the air compressor noise, but I thought it was better than the elevator music. I hope I didn't get any baby fish in here this time. I kind of took out their hiding spot. Here I'm going to show you just a little bit more of the power that this pump has. I'm now standing it straight up uh, vertically and putting the tip of the pickup line uh, on the bottom of the pond. And I'm running it at nearly wide open. Soon I will turn it down to uh, uh, turn it off and then turn it back on again so that you can see how responsive it is. It almost instantly turns on and starts to pump. It doesn't take much time at all. I'm glad that I got it out to play with it today, actually. Soon I'll move the camera down to the bottom right side close to my feet so you'll get a better view. This is wide open. I just turned it off. And I'm going to crack it open just now. Crack the valve open. wide open again. I'm leaving it wide open and I'm picking it up. I don't have my tape measure on me right now, but we're at a good, uh, I don't know, 10 inches out of the water. 12 inches. See the leaves and the junk coming out of this when I when I get it. I'm pulling it up out of the water. Water level. See all that junk? If you found this video to be helpful, informative, or otherwise entertaining, don't forget to subscribe. And remember to smile for a stranger today. You'll both be glad you did.